What we want to see is no more killing, no more deaths. Uh, if there was a ceasefire, then this morning there wouldn't have been tens of casualties at a Shifa hospital, which Israel is bombing. It has also cut off the electricity supply since 2 o'clock in the morning, and there are now 39 remaining uh, premature babies that are in, in danger of dying, but simply because the ceasefire has, has not been called for or into effect. So I've joined nearly half a million people, if not more, to demand a ceasefire. We're seeing what's happening in Gaza, where over 10,000 people have died, 4,500 children. We're seeing daily images of children being picked out of rubble, thousands of people dying in these mass graves, and our political leaders are complicit unless they're calling for a ceasefire. And that's not what they're doing at the moment. So it's about putting as much pressure as we can through demonstrations, through contact contacting your Member of Parliament through speaking up uh, and organising every space we can to demand that and that's what this is about today. I'm here today, I was here last night for the vigil at 10 Downing Street which was for marking and paying our respects to those healthcare workers that paid the ultimate price with their lives, dedicated to their patients in Gaza and I'm here today for the same message, which is ceasefire now, and let the blockade be lifted, and let's just stop this. Let's just stop this. What's happening today is a historic occasion. It's the biggest ever solidarity march for the people of Palestine. We have witnessed week after week the horror, the absolute mayhem, the disgusting double standards as bombs are raining down on Gaza. And we've seen the horrific scale of what's happened to the civilians. 4,000 children, babies, orphaned, children crying for their mothers. We've seen 10,000 Palestinians as a whole killed. And in the name of what? We are here as one humanity, Jews, Muslims, Christians together, say not in our name. So that's why I'm here, say not in my name.